The Nerf Rival Chaos is an expensive blaster. I think we can all agree on that. Not only is the blaster itself expensive, but it uses six D-cell batteries. Thankfully, Nerf has come up with a solution to one of these problems, obviously, the battery. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the Nerf official rechargeable battery for the Chaos. Inside the box, you get the battery itself, an instructional and informational little pamphlet, and a charger. For those of you who like specs, the charger outputs at 9 volts, 600 milliamps, and the battery is a 7.2 volt, 1500 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride battery, which is interesting because usually for chaos builds, Zeus builds, stampede builds, people recommend 11.1 .1 volts or a 3S LiPo style build. It seems that they're gonna be undervolting the chaos, which usually takes nine volts with stock batteries. The way you use this battery is super duper simple. You charge it up following the instructional pamphlet, which tells you everything you really need to know, but basically you just plug it in, wait for the LEDs to tell you it's done, take out the stock battery tray, plop this one into the chaos, close the lid, and you are done. That's it. Super duper simple and probably the easiest mod ever. So what does this all mean other than cutting down the amount of D-cell batteries that you might be disposing of? Let's find out. First, we're going to take a look at the weight benefits this battery has to offer. Six D-cell batteries is super duper heavy, and if you've ever picked up a stock-powered Stampede or Chaos, you know exactly how heavy it feels. With stock batteries, my Chaos weighs in at 5 pounds, 0.9 ounces, or 2 pounds, 3.2 ounces for just the D batteries and the tray alone. If we weigh the rechargeable battery, the Chaos weighs 3 pounds, 9.2 ounces, or only 11.3 ounces for the rechargeable battery by itself. Super duper light. Next, we're gonna test the time it takes for the blaster to fully rev up. During a game like HVZ, every second counts when there is a zombie charge coming for you. I did three spin-ups with the stock batteries and the rechargeable battery. Three quarters of a second doesn't really seem like too much to me, but that's probably because I'm used to lipo builds where it's like almost instantaneous. The third test is a rate of fire test where I took the best like little clip uh, from the videos I took and also to see how long it takes for the batteries to unload a massive 40 round capacity chaos magazine. <laughs> And lastly, an FPS difference. So overall, the battery increases FPS, it increases the rate of fire, decreases spin-up, and decreases the amount of time it takes for you to unload one of these huge magazines, which is pretty darn good. So I do have some questions about this battery in terms of over the time that you use it. Um, how long does the battery last before you have to recharge it? How long do these benefits, like the increased rate of fire, last as the voltage drops? What is the lowest performance you can expect out of this battery? And how many charging cycles will this battery have? before you need to dispose of it and buy a new one. I don't have the answer to these questions, but maybe some of my viewers do. If you have answers or theoretical answers to any of those questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below so we can discuss them. So how much does this battery kit cost? On Amazon right now, you can pick it up for $29.99, which isn't too bad of a deal in my opinion, depending on how often you use your Chaos. For those of you who don't like throwing batteries away or you want to give a boost to your kid's chaos or maybe even your own without opening it up, rewiring it and using it with things like lipos, this is definitely a pretty good alternative to that. And one of the best things about this, it is a 100% Nerf official release, which is really cool because I thought Nerf didn't really like us modders. So has me asking a few questions about that. If you're interested in picking one of these things up for yourself, or maybe for someone else, I'll have a link in the description to where you can get it, possibly in time for Christmas. But thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day wherever you are!
Thank you.